Here's the headline, another feature potentially making Evernote more valuable to its users. It wasn't that long ago that people complained that Evernote was getting stale and the company wasn't listening to the needs of its users, but now we are beginning to see a lot of evidence that is not the case. It used to be that if you wanted to move a file from your computer to Evernote, your options were limited. For example, I would typically email files into Evernote. But today, I want to show you a feature that is going to make the process so much easier, how you can directly upload files into Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I share periodic tips on how to use Evernote, as well as productivity and leadership, here on YouTube and on my website, davidwardsmedia.com. Please visit my website and like this video if you find it helpful. Evernote has been flirting with the direct upload feature for some time. Evernote's new upload feature allows you to save everything from Word documents, pictures, just about everything automatically and directly into the program. First of all, you need to be using either Evernote for Windows or Mac. Let me show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is to create a folder from where you'll place your documents. I created this folder, add to Evernote on my desktop, which will make it easier to find when I wanna move a document. Then in Evernote, select Evernote, then preferences, then import folders from the menu bar. Click connect a folder to open a file picker window. Locate the window you wanna connect and click select. In the import folders window in Evernote, click the Evernote name next to the folder you select. This allows you to select the notebook where your imported files will automatically be saved. When you're done with that, click on the more options button. Those are the little three dots to review the import settings. Once Evernote has this feature complete, rolls it out to everyone, you're gonna be able to go here and set the folder to delete your original file once it moves to Evernote. If that's what you want to do. And you can set up subfolders here as well. And when you're done, simply click Save. I flat out love this feature. For example, I keep my budget on my computer, and that's where I work on it. But I like to keep a copy in Evernote in case I'm asked a question about the budget when I'm in a meeting. By using this feature, I can open my iPad in a meeting and quickly find a copy. I'm sure you're going to find many good uses for this as well. Hey, if you have questions about Evernote or would like to share a tip of your own, add it in the comments section below or email me. My email address is daveedwards at outlook.com. I share periodic tips on Evernote right here on YouTube. Please subscribe so you won't miss any of them. Thanks.